Hello everybody. Do you have Smile Game Builder? Do you have Blender? Do you want to create an object in Blender and then import it into Smile Game Builder, but don't know how? Well stay tuned, because in the next 2 minutes and 10 seconds, we're going to do exactly that. So strap in. Open up Blender. Go to File. Go to New. Go to General. Make sure you've got three windows open. Your 3D viewport, your UV editor, and your shader nodes. Add a mesh by hitting Shift A. Let's add a cube. Press G, press Z, press 1, press Enter. Go to Edit Mode. Press U, click UV Unwrap. Now go to your UV Editor, click UV, click Export UV Layout, and click Export UV Layout. Find your file, edit it with your favorite paint program, save your file when you're done. Go back to Blender, go to your Materials tab, click New. In your Shader window, click Add. Click Texture. Click Image Texture. Put the Image Texture node to the left of your principal BSDF node. Click Open. Find your texture, click Open Image. Take the color output and connect it to the base color input. Now go to your 3D viewport. Make sure you're in edit mode. Select your object and hit Control T to triangulate it. Remember, we have to triangulate our faces in order for them to display in Smile Game Builder properly. Just click File. Click Export. Click FBX. Give your file a name and go down to your presets. Make sure only Empty, Armature, and Mesh are selected. Go to Geometry and uncheck Apply Modifiers. Go to Armatures and unchecked Add Leaf Bones. Go to Animation and uncheck Force Start and Keying. You can save these presets as a new operator preset if you want to save time. For our cube to be the same size as one unit of a map in SGB, we'll need to change the scale to point zero zero five. Now click Export FBX. Open Smile Game Builder and go to Add Assets. Click Maps. Click Objects. Click Add. Find your file and click it. If you want to change the scale, you can do it here. Otherwise, leave it as one for it to be the same size as one square or cubic unit in Smile Game Builder. Make sure the option is checked. When it's importing FBX files, it executes optimization automatically and click Add. And you're done. Remember, whatever the name of the folder was that your object was in when you imported it will be the name of the tab that it will now reside in. Add objects to your map to your heart's content. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful cubes. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, click the like button, hit the notification bell, share with all of your friends. Ah!